Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Sonic Mania running on Ryujinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator. If you were not aware, there are now two working Nintendo Switch emulators, one called Yuzu and this one which I am showcasing called Ryujinx. If you want to check out all of the latest news, including game compatibility in both of these emulators, you can click the pin in the top right hand corner of this video right now, otherwise you can check out the link in the video description. All of the footage you have just seen is Sonic Mania running natively on Ryujinx, this Nintendo Switch emulator. As you can see, my controls are working quite well. As of right now, Ryujinx does not actually have native controller support. However, it does actually have native key bindings, meaning we can use an app like joy to key in order to map your joystick inputs to these key bindings which you can see on screen right now. This is actually quite easy to set up, it only took me about 2 minutes to download and have this all set up. The only downside to this method right now is the fact that there is a slight bit of input lag on your controls. As well as these key bindings, you also have full touch support. As you can see, I am fully able to navigate these menus. The only actual function in this game that I was not able to get working was this screen filter. Apart from this one filter, I couldn't find a single thing in this game that doesn't work on this Switch emulator. You can even change the languages as you see fit, easily swapping back and forth between them with absolutely no issue whatsoever. In order to regain control, if you click off screen, you simply have to click on the screen and then you will be able to use your controller once again. As you can see, when we come to this save select, we can select which character we want to use. Let's just select Sonic and Tails and actually load into a new game. There we go, we're now loaded into game. You can see that it is working flawlessly at a locked 60 FPS. In my experience with this game on Ryujinx, it basically runs completely flawlessly and even runs much much higher than the 60 FPS you are currently seeing. When we actually get into some gameplay, I'm going to show you exactly what kind of performance levels we can see in this game. As you can see, when we actually load into game, we are getting the full 60 FPS no matter what we do. I haven't seen a single hitch in performance in all of my time playing this game and that's about 6 or 7 hours. You can also see that using RevaTuner's statistics server, I have actually had to cap my frame rate to 60 due to the fact that if I turn off the frame cap, this game will run at 144Hz, the maximum refresh rate of my actual monitor. The game itself will actually run at a much much higher frame rate than this, I've seen it run at around 3 and 400 FPS absolutely no problem. This just goes to show you that even though this game is a more simple 2D style game, there is still quite a lot of performance headroom, especially for people who want to run these games on lower tiered computers than what I'm currently using, my 8700K. You can see that the performance is basically perfect and the graphics are rendered absolutely 100% accurately. The only issues I have seen so far in this game in all of my playtime, as I said about 6 or 7 hours, is that sometimes in boss fights the audio gets a bit weird and glitchy. Apart from this small issue, this game performs admirably, especially when you consider the age and exactly how new these Switch emulators are. So that's about it for this video guys, there's not too much more I can show you in relation to the performance and function of this game on this emulator. Let me know down in the comments section if you would like me to do a similar performance overview of this game running on Yuzu, the other Nintendo Switch emulator, and I can do one for you absolutely no problem. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.